Several people have had enough and they're just going to leave, especially the older ones. Tonight, people working to rebuild from Hurricanes Helene and Milton are worried a storm will set them back again. Debris lines their streets, blue tarps protects their homes, and they don't have the energy for yet another cleanup. NBC2 Top Salmon is live in Punta Gorda, Isles, where these families' whole lives are on the curb. Kelly, take a look at this. This is not the only road here in Punta Gorda that is lined with debris. You see there's a vacuum cleaner, different furniture items, dressers. Even over here, there's a Barbie dream house. And the people that live along roads like this say they are worried. It's been a lot of work each time. And uh, this, this one was messy because of all the mud and muck. And it got in, just got into everything. Steve Herlin is trying to get his golf cart working today after he says he finally got his house fixed up. He and his neighbors can't believe they have to start getting prepared for more tropical weather. Several people have had enough and they're just going to leave, especially the older ones. It just, it's becoming too much. And they're they're going to move somewhere inland. Herlin lives in the Windmill Village community. Right outside the gate, you can see this huge pile of debris. And it's not just here. Driving around the city, it's clear Punta Gorda still has a lot of cleanup to do after hurricanes Milton and Helene. This week, the city said it's picking up debris on the north side of Punta Gorda Isles. I, uh, we don't want any flooding because then that'll be all over the place. That's what happened in Helene. They didn't get the stuff off uh, this road, next road over here, and then it floated all over the place. Tropical storm Raphael is expected to impact our area this week. People I talked to just want to put it out of their minds. Crews are working on picking up hurricane yard debris in burnt store meadows. Then they'll move to burnt store aisles. No, we, we just got down last week, so we're trying to catch up with everybody else yeah. from Helene and Milton. So we still have stuff that got washed underneath our unit, stuff like that, because we, we had about uh, three, four feet of uh, surge where our property is. And all of this debris is not just from the community next to it. While we've been out here today, at least 12 cars have dumped their debris. So people in the community are annoyed a little bit about that. They do say that the community is being as patient as possible, but they want all of this cleaned up. Reporting live in Punta Gorda, Hope Salmon, NBC2.